Welcome, welcome to Champs Corner, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a beautiful day. A great day to for some basketball. Oh, I love it. I love the Final Four. Just like in NCAA, I love the Final Four and the NBA because it's almost down. It's almost down to the championship. Ain't nothing like, ain't nothing like the NBA championship, man. NFL, Super Bowl, all of that nature, the World Series, you know, all of that is big time, big time stuff. You see the big players come out, big time players make big time plays. And in this series right here, I mean, you talking about some big time players. I mean, everybody was on that Giannis train, but I was telling people, I was telling people Giannis can be slowed down, he can be stopped, he can be... And then either the thing about it is, I like Giannis. I like Giannis, you know what I mean? But, he is limited. He is a limited player. And what the Celtics did to him in that last game, they finally got it all together, even though he started off real fast. I'm like, this, this cat is about to have a triple-double in the first quarter. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, Celtics might be in trouble. But, I mean, Grant Williams hitting threes. He had the best game of his damn life. You know, Jalen Horford came on. Pritchard came on. You know, I mean, these 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 are the, the role players that you need, that you need to win, that you need. You know, and everything, everything that's about to happen with, with this Celtics and Heat game series is about to be a monster. This is about to be a drag out brawl fight because Jimmy come from the gutter as far as basketball, as far as life and all that. So he's about to be, oh man, I mean, I've been a Jimmy Butler fan since the Bulls, of course, Butler. I mean, Marquette, you know what I mean? He's been one of those type of players that you want to, you know what I'm saying, you want to go to an alley fight with, you know, because he comes from defense. So when you got a cat like that that comes from defense, and now he didn't, trans he didn't transform himself into an elite score, passer, rebound. Woo. So you got to think that matchup between him and Jalen Brown and him and Tatum and him and Marcus Smart, that's going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. Box office. You know what I'm saying? But it's not going to come down to Jalen. I mean, it's not going to come down to uh, Tatum. It's not going to come down to Jimmy. It's going to come down to the role players. Three players from both sides are going to need to play big. And whoever plays big on this side, either side, whoever plays bigger is going to win this series. I guarantee it. The team that plays bigger as far as role players will win. I start with the Celtics. Grant Williams need to keep going. He needs to keep making open shots because he will get open shots. He will get open shots as long as Tatum and Jalen Brown can garner a double team. And they will. Because neither, neither player can be guarded by one player. Grant Williams, Marcus Smart, will need to run the show. Starting with defense. Starting with defense. His defense is, he's basically like, well, he used to score at Oklahoma State. He was a big time score at Oklahoma State. He came to the league. He he, he started he started playing some defense. Like, like, oh, he's a defensive stopper. No, he was a scorer at Oklahoma State. So, that's nothing. His scoring and his defense goes hand in hand. So you talking about Grant Williams, 
Marcus, Marcus Smart. And now 11 points. Al Horf. Al Horf needs to keep playing like he is playing against Giannis. If he does, if he slows down against Bam, Bam will run away from him. Bam will run away from him. He will dunk. He will run away from him. So he needs to keep his motivation up to play hard, motivated basketball. Now, those three, Marcus Smart, Al Horford, and Grant Williams, if they play bigger than Bam, Bam needs to play his tail off for the Heat to win. He should. He should win that matchup against Al Horford. He can shoot the jumper. There's no reason why Bam shouldn't be running all over the place, at running Al Horford off the court. There shouldn't be a reason. I know Al Horford played ball, but Bam's, I think Bam's. I guess his 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 uh his whole game is better than Giannis. As far as his moves, I ain't talking about his ball handling because he has some ball handling too. I think Giannis has better ball handling, but he can shoot better. His back back to the basket is probably better. Bam needs to win that match. Plain and simple. Now, I was thinking between Tyler and, let me see, Duncan Robson. I think Tyler is going to ball. So I'm not going to say him. I think Duncan Robson needs to play big for the Heat to win. Duncan Robinson was kind of like a ghost in the series just past. He was a ghost. Every time I turned to watch the game, I didn't hear nothing. I heard Tyler. I didn't hear nothing. I heard Victor Oladipo. Victor, Victor was doing some things. So I'm not going to say him. Victor seemed like he trying to come into his own. That's going to be dangerous for if, if he still coming into his own. That's going to be dangerous for uh, Boston If he keeps coming They need to slow his train down Because if he keeps coming And get healthier He might be a problem And if he starts to be a problem Then a Then the, 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 the ball The, 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 the boat then tipped The boat then tipped into Their Favor but I will say this: Duncan Robson, Bam, and Al and Cal Lowry. If Cal Lowry, Duncan Robson, and Bam play bigger, the Heat probably end up. Playing. That's my take, Champs Corner. From Houston, wasn't really even playing. Y'all have a blessed day. Enjoy the game. Now Out. Five of ten from three-point range. The Celtics. They've